Hello my friends in the Geekiverse. Welcome to the second episode of Geekomancy's Gaming Table. I'm almost sane and today we'll be looking at how to play COGS. Right, first things first, each player needs to pick a scoring card at random. Uh, the number in the centre here indicates the play order with the highest player going first. So for the sake of our demonstration, I'm going to take the 6 card. Taking the gaming gadget, we flip the dial to show the number of players down in the bottom. For this demonstration, we'll just do a two-player game. On the back, it shows the layout for the uh, game board. In two players, that's five by five. Each player will take a counter for each color and place it on their scorecard. Then all the tiles are placed face down and each player will select three at random to constitute their hand. Now we look at the back of the game gadget and that'll show us the layout for the game board, five by five for two players. Flip the tiles over and arrange them randomly in the five, five, five by five grid for two players, like so. Once that's done, the remaining tiles are placed in the bag and put to the side, we don't need them. Okay, uh, the scoring nuts, which are the bonus points for completing um, mechanisms, are placed to the side. Right, let's have a look at a first turn. What I want to do is swap out a tile from my hand for on the board, and then if I match colours, that'll allow me to score. So I'll take this red and blue uh, piece, and I'm going to place it here, swapping that piece out. This will score me uh, two points for red, so I do that, and three points for blue, because I've connected those colours in lines. Then after that's done, I pick up the tile I've replaced and add that to my hand. And then obviously the next player takes their turn. Once the final player in play has taken their turn, you rotate the game gadget down to indicate that it's the end of the round. Like so. Eight rounds to go. There's a few things to remember when you're scoring. Uh, one of those is if you replace a segment with the same color and same orientation, you don't score points for that segment. So in this instance, I would not score points for this red segment because it was the same orientation, but I will score points for the yellow. Uh, three points. The next thing to talk about are mechanisms, where you connect one edge all the way around to another edge. Uh, Let's show you with this red section. So I'll swap this piece out here, and then I'll rotate this piece, and we have a mechanism here. It's going from one edge to the other. Okay, one edge to the other. Let's see, I would score one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of this one. Uh, completed chains like this also, so this loop here counters mechanisms. Mechanisms, you can swap out tiles as long as that mechanism stays the same. So here I can have the yellow, uh, but I can't actually change any of the mechanisms. When you get a mechanism, you get one of these nuts, uh, yellow for this one, and you place it face down next to your scorecard. Uh, at the end of the game, you score bonus points for each nut that you have. Right, that's it. Um, Oh, the only other thing to remember is your final score is equal to your lowest scoring colour. So it's important to try and score points on every colour, don't just focus on one or two. That's the basic rules. Uh, there are alternative rule sets that you can play, which are found in the different scenario book. But this is the basic rules, this will get you started. Thank you heaps for watching our video and supporting us. Uh, I'm almost sane. Like and subscribe. Thank you.